Okay, this is just a little bit of a revisit to a video I did a while ago now on uh, using a copyright or signature brush. And there's been a few queries and there's also been a, a few little changes. So what we're going to do is have a look through those. Plus at the end, we're also going to have a look at setting the, the brush tool now, our copyright brush or signature brush as a tool preset. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up the type or the text tool. There it is there. Come into the fonts, uh, Bradley Hand. That could be pretty good if you wanted to be a signature brush. There it is at the top. Worth experimenting. For a copyright brush, something like Arial, something like Times New Roman is pretty good. So I'm going to click on Arial. Bring in the type tool into the image. You're going to click down. You'll notice it goes in there. There it is, layer one. Flashing a little bit on the small side. You can make it bigger by choosing a, a larger font size from that there you can swipe across you can put in a figure or we can just grab hold of this we can move it across I'm going to take it up to around about that area there looks pretty good you can see the dash now is a lot bigger right now what we need to do and here is the first query if you're using a PC you press and hold down alt on the keyboard so press and hold down alt on the keyboard and go to the numerical keypad that's the one on the extreme right and pressing 0169 that's 0169 it doesn't work if you use the numbers directly above the letters on the keyboard so you have to use the numerical keypad pad even and it's 0169 using a Mac it is simply you press the option key and press the letter G so that's option and the letter G in it goes there is our copyright symbol next you can type in whatever you want to type in Oh my goodness, I've been. Looks like I'm typing in that, so that will do nicely. Now, at the moment, it's not committed. You can see it's still flashing underneath. That little line is still flashing there. It's still saying layer one. Clicking here will commit it. Clicking on the tick will commit it. Or a great shortcut is press command or control and then enter. So that's command or control and enter. How quick and easy was that? Right. Next thing. What we're now going to do is switch off the background layer. So we've just got our type floating away there. We're going to come to Edit. We're going to drop down to Define Brush Preset. It's called Define Brush Preset, but it's not actually a preset at this stage. And this is where another query has come from. So it Define Brush, brush Preset is simply going to ask us for a brush name. I'm going to call this one Copyright, because that's what it is. And we're going to click OK to that. At this stage, we can get rid of this. We can drop that in the bin. Gone. Background layers come back on. We're going to put in, while we're in the layers palette, we're going to put in a new empty layer. So we're going to be working on a new empty layer. I'm going to press B on the keyboard. That's the letter B, which will bring up the brush tool. And if we just take a look here, scroll down to the bottom. There's our brush there. And if I just click off, there's a, I've actually got the brush there. If I right click inside the image, it'll bring up the brush palette. You see, there it is. It's telling me it's uh, 987, but if you come to the top there and we come to text only and we scroll down, you can see there it is. It is called copyright. So don't worry if it doesn't show it saying copyright, even though you renamed it. Coming back to smaller thumbnails, right, clicking on this, there's our copyright brush. Just clicking off to remove that. Now we've got black set as our foreground color. We've got the opacity and everything set at 100%. So we're now going to come to our tool preset. There it is. If yours isn't on show for some reason, it's the one that looks like a screwdriver with a spanner. Come to window, dropping down to tool preset and up it'll pop. What we're now going to do is we're going to click on this icon here and this is going to create a new tool preset. Thank you for that. And it's going to call it brush tool copyright one include color the color being black there the foreground color i'm just going to swipe across and get rid of the number one because we don't need that or you could call it your 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 uh, signature brush whatever you could change the colors do whatever you want to do if you do change the color make sure you click include color clicking ok to that in it pops there if we just take a look uh, this one here i happen to know it's 15 percent that's for opacity and it's white as a foreground color if we come to this one here for a white border again it's white as a foreground color opacity back to 100% so clicking on the preset you can preset the opacity you can preset the foreground color you can preset the softness hardness it's absolutely brilliant coming back to the copyright brush you can see how quick and easy it is to get to it fold that in out of the way 
clicking on the image, in it pops and I'm just going to press V on the keyboard to bring up the move tool so I don't sort of click down and put more in. You can of course put as many copyright symbols as you want. Being as it's on a new empty layer, we can move it around. We can also come down and we can click on the layer styles and we can choose bevel and emboss and we can take the size up like that so it's a nice rounded look. We can come and we can choose blending options Blending options there, it's exactly the same as the layers palette with the blend options there. We're going to choose a screen so we can now see through it. We're going to drop the opacity down a little bit, click OK to that. And again, you can move it, you can place it wherever you want to do, to do with it. And because it's on a new empty layer, we can use Control or Command T to bring up the Transform tool. Pressing down and holding down Shift on the keyboard, we can now make this as big as we want. Shift is just keeping it all in the correct sort of... Uh, perspective. I'm going to click enter. So that's now been applied. We can move this around. We can drop the opacity down further still. So it's just fading into the background like that. You might want to do something for a website like that. You can change the blend modes to say soft lights, just a little bit darker. Worth experimenting, you know, sort of multiply. You see it's going to look different depending on the tonal range of the image underneath, but it's worth playing with these as well. As I say, you can use it as a signature brush, just tuck it away in the corner, perhaps then you want 100% opacity. But it's a great way of being able to sort of preset your copyright brush, so if you want your brush again, you can just come back to it here. It's not shown at the moment, but as soon as we bring back our brushes, there it is there. Incidentally, if you want to delete it, just click on this and that will delete it. You can also, as I say, if you create a new one, click on this icon to reset or preset. Brilliant! I'll be covering this in a lot more depth uh, in some other of the uh, downloadable videos which will be coming out shortly. So give it a try. It really is a great way of working. It's very quick and very easy and you can use it over and over again. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.